Welcome to my channel today as we discuss how to start successful business at a young age. Now, before I delve into this topic proper, I want to ask you, I want to know, what do you mean by young age? Now, do you mean someone who is a teenager, 30 years, 40 years? Now, let me tell you, business has no age. Business has no age. As long as you have what to offer, now is the time. Now is the time. So if you are very young, or if you are younger, or if you think you have not gotten to age to start that business, I'm happy you are on this channel today because you have what it takes to start. As long as the idea is in you, you can start now. Before we go into it proper, please may you subscribe to my channel, share, be part of my channel as you grow this team. Now, how do you start? For you to be on this panel, uh, in this channel now, I know you really have an amazing idea or product or something you know people are willing to pay for. And you are wondering, how will I present this to them going by my age? Or maybe you've seen a business gap. You've seen a business opportunity, a problem that needs to be solved. And you know you have the answer. Well, guess what? You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait to turn your vision into reality. Age shouldn't be the barrier at all. So what I'm about to teach you here is the principles of starting business from the scratch to success. I have grown on multi-million Naira companies. So I know what it means. And let me tell you, the principle of building company A is the same principle of building company A, G, company C, and as on and so on and so forth. So there is no magic button. There is no trick of or lock in building a successful business. No. Rather, once you follow the basic principles, the chances of winning is very, very high. So how do you start? It starts with what? An idea. A spark. It could be based on your passion. Or it could be based on the skill or knowledge you have that others might be interested in knowing. Let me tell you, no matter the skill you have, no matter the knowledge you have, some people are out there eager, searching to learn, acquire such skill. Is it baking? Is it coding? Or is it uh, organization that you can organize, a good organizer? Or graphic design? Name it. Whatever it is. People are out there. And it can be monetized. So, we are first thinking Building a business is identifying that thing you can do easily or that passion or that knowledge you can monetize. But let me tell you, having passion for something is not enough. You need to create, bring that passion to a tangible substance. It could be a product. Your passion can be molded into a product that can be exchanged for money or for service so this is what you got to know once you have the passion now you have to solve you have to bring it into either as a product or as a service to solve problems to particular area of people or particular set of people that is your target audience once you've understood their passion and that once you know how to Bring it to reality through service or products. The next thing to do is market research. It is a key. How do you understand that this your idea or product will sell? It is called market validation. The closest people or the closest thing to do is to get the feedback, get responses from friends, family, people around you. 
These are your potential customers. Their response will tell you what those outside there will say about your product. See that gap that exists. And what's the problem you, you people are facing? Once you understood all these things and you, you, you validate it, you are good to start. So please recap. What is your idea? What market gap have you identified? Fine. Once you have identified that, then you do a market research. You validate it. Once you validate it, please, if I'm making sense, I will suggest you subscribe to my channel, please. Be part of my growing community. Give me that support. Now, once you've done that, it is time to build a roadmap. It's crucial to your success. That is a business plan. Yes, it doesn't have to be a very large business plan. Simple and straight to the point. What should be the component of your business plan, your mission statement? What is the business all about? What are your core values? Your business plan should contain your target market. Who are you selling to? What are their needs or what are their pain points that you want to solve or you want to tackle? What is your product and services? What are you offering in details? Be very, very open. How will, in fact, what you market is the benefit. How will your product or services or your idea benefit that person that is in need of it? Yeah. Marketing and sales. Your business plan should contain a comprehensive roadmap on how to reach your audience or how to convince them to at Twitter, at end money, knowing that you have a solution to their problem. The finances, your, your, your business plan should have projections of what to start, how much to start, at the break, what is the break even point. All these things should be comprehensively, the simply presented in your business plan. Do you know the reason for this? You may not need it now, but investors will definitely come if your idea is viable. And this is what they will look at your roadmap. Please, if you enjoy my video, I suggest you subscribe. Subscribe now. Don't delay. Just subscribe. Share. Click on the notification button and comment where necessary. Now, after this, what is the next step? You must have what you call a business model. Now, a business model, that is a very exciting part of this, the whole thing. You must put your learning into action yes successful businesses doesn't come easy so the what cuts it easier what makes it simple is a model what does modeling does or what does it mean to someone who wants to start business from scratch please this is very essential you must seek for a mentorship find someone who has experience in that business and offer uh, that can offer a guidance to you. Please do that. It costs your learning curve by 100%. I'm telling you. Once someone is already there to guide you on exactly what to do, then you have to network. That is modeling. Network, network, network. Connect with other entrepreneurs, those that have make it or have made it in that particular area of business. Don't see them as a competitor. No. Go, study them, but don't copy them. Yes, there are a lot of free online resources where you can learn whatever skill or whatever business you, are, you, you, you think of jumping into. Start small and scale up. This should be the rules. This should be the principles that you must follow. Please, if you're enjoying it once more, subscribe, share, and be part of my Team. Now, at the end of the day, once you've gotten a model, you have been modeled, you have been, you've learned from people what you do. You try to stand out, create your own identity, your own brand. And how, what, what makes you special? That is what we call unique selling point or unique identity. What makes your business special? You have to. In fact, you have to start thinking of it. Why should those people 
or people that have been patronizing other companies to come to your business. That will be your powerful selling point. You should try and develop it. Have a good logo, a good business name. Yes, the business name matters a lot. Make it so simple and short so that it can be memorable. After that, it is time to market your product. It is time to showcase your product to as many people as possible. The first thing to do is start online, have online presence. Building websites and driving traffic may be very expensive at this stage. So what you need to do is go to the social media that suits to that idea you have. Create a page and start educating people about your product. Don't sell. If you have a skincare product, teach people how to take good care of their body naturally, and they will ask you, what else do we do? And that is when you bring out the product for them. Yes, social media profile. Your profile should be world class. Present your products or services professionally in a clear video, clear picture or pictures, all angles. Then, after that, after building the online presence, it is advisable. Even if you are not coming offline, you should have a legal structure. So this is where, as a young, a, at young age, if you are below 18, this is where you need the support of your guidance of parents to help you have government regulations. Register your business LLC, preferably. Acquire the permit and the licenses required for any of the business within your area. How to overcome the tax problem. This is where you need someone who is higher than you if you are below 18. But if you are above 18, these things can be done through the help of a lawyer. Just get a lawyer and you get these things done. Remember. I said remember. The journey of starting a successful business is just as important as the destination. Yes, there will be ups and downs, moment of doubt, unexpected challenges. But through it all, you will learn valuable skill, gain experience, and build resilience. Remember, failure is not directly opposite or is not the direct opposite of success rather it's a step so no matter how prepared you are in business do not be emotionally attached to it because there will be ups and downs there will be moments when you will be down but once you are not emotionally attached to it you will stand up with full force face the challenges until you meet your desired target so with this i said please subscribe share so the age is not a limit at all your age should not hold you back with passion planning and whole lot you can turn your dream into a thriving business thank you for watching please subscribe share let us grow together